Um, let's start at the beginning. The Wheel of Fortune. Basically, that is whatever you put out in the world, you get paid tenfold. So keep it positive. Keep your focus. Um, don't give up uh, before the miracle. But the Wheel of Fortune, it, it can go one way or the other. And it all, it all rests on where you put your energy. So if your mind is in a negative space, you will draw negativeness to you. If your mind is in a positive space and you keep the vision and the clarity and hold hold the vision of abundance, that is what you will be rewarded with. So it's up to you. That's what it really means. The Wheel of Fortune is up to you. And it kind of amplifies the regular the regular choices. So um, keep it positive. Put it out in the world. Don't lose faith. Do not lose faith. Oh, um, so it looks like putting some energy, some some positiveness into those creations that you want to manifest, and they will happen. They will happen as long as you keep that unwavering positive mindset. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune can go either way, and it all depends on your actions and your mindset. What crosses you is you're feeling a little trapped in a situation. Now, this could be a job, a relationship, a friendship, but it feels like you are really trapped in something and not having a, a choice in the matter, which is jive. You always have a choice in the matter, and doing nothing about something is a choice. So um, step into your power. Speak your words with love and kindness, but it looks like you, you've halted some either behavior or some happiness or something you've halted. Um, either it's because of a fear-based emotion or because of another person's choices. So see if you can break out of that, Scorpio. Speak your truth and find some resolution. It looks like it is a situation. Um, could be work, could be uh, interpersonal, could be friends. But there's something that you need to speak your truth from and really see what's really going on here. Pull off that that mask and really take a look at, at what's going on, not what people have told you is going on. Really collect the information for yourself before you make any decisions and before you communicate. But that trapped feeling, it looks like it's only temporary. It is between a um, kind of a, um, a spiritual learning card and the coming into your power planting the seeds card. So it looks like this is one step. This is like the final piece of the puzzle. Um, it's time for you to embrace this change and not wait for other people to facilitate the change that is necessary for you. So speak your truth, pull that mask off and take a look at the situation as it really is, not how it has been presented to you. What is above you is the three of pentacles. And this is um, kind of a self-help type of card. It's um, rising above the everyday mundane things. For some of you, it may be getting back to church. Um, it may be going to a yoga class, hugging a tree, making some kind of higher commitment for your mental health and your spiritual health. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean religion at all. I want to be clear about that. Um, some folks are atheists and that is fine. Um, but usually finding something bigger than themselves can be nature. Um, but collecting information um, and really finding the neutralness, um, kind of taking a, um, a step back from other people's issues and just allowing them their space to resolve it um, while you are cleaning up your own stuff. So it looks like some of your focus has been shifted from either family problems or friends to really starting to build your own future and what would make you happier on the daily. And for some of you, it's, it's um, more physical movement. For others of you, it's a more spiritual movement, but it looks like some kind of self-help. And this could be the continuation of the New Year's resolutions, <laughs> but it's something that you have incorporated and you will you are already seeing the benefits of it. So as I said, it could be physical exercise, could be mental exercise, could be as simple as getting back to church, but something that you have embraced some kind of change to better your soul and um, better, better your life in general by making this commitment. 
So that has already become incorporated. What is uh, in the past position is the Queen of Cups. And for many of you females or identified female Scorpios, this can be you. The Queen is one of um, um, higher uh, morals, one of like doing the right thing. It also can stand for someone that's over 40 or very wise, wise beyond their years. Cups signify um, emotions and water signs. So Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this feels like there is uh, a new connection for you with someone that um, is actually beneficial and, um, and it feels like um, the emotions are positive and more fun loving. And, um, but it feels like either a new friendship or a new connection with someone can even mean a more positive connection with your own soul, Scorpio, if this stands for you. But there has been a shift in your acceptance and um, of yourself and others. And this person feels like they are joining you in the new fun and the newfound um, growth that you're experiencing. So it looks like you're drawing in people that are a little higher energy, a little more positive in their lives and kind of reflecting where you are more positive in your life. So the people that you are um, drawing to you are a little bit more positive because you are a little bit more positive. You have taken a huge emotional step, emotional growth. And I believe this stands for that, that you have made a commitment to yourself and to be in the higher chakras instead of the lower survival chakras. So good job, Scorpio. The Empress is here. Um, <clears throat> she stands for nurturing. She can stand for pregnancy, whether it's wanted or unwanted, whether it's yours or someone else's. Um, this does feel like there's new beginnings here. A seed has been planted. Could be just planting seeds for your garden. It doesn't have to be that grand. Um, but it does, for those of you that are of your childbearing years, be aware that you could be creating another little being um, with this empress right here. What I like to tell um, folks that are that want to nurture something, you know, as plant a plant or take care of a pet or, you know, see if you can, um, <clears throat> if you really don't want children or you want to create a pregnancy right now, see if you can nurture something else that grows. And um, so it's time to, to nurture something and it may be an idea um, and maybe a garden but something, uh, a seed of growth you are planting, uh, whether it is on the metaphysical uh, or the physical. So that is coming if it's not already here. Temperance is really finding your balance, putting your priorities in order. And it looks like you have been doing that, Scorpio, for a while now, um, a couple of months at the um, beginning of the solar eclipse. A lot of the my Scorps started really looking at things, um, finding their humility, changing what they can, um, embracing new goals. So this is really trying to find your balance in all the, the newness of change. And um, I see these red wings kind of lighting up for me that the, you're a little frustrated at um, other people's movement or lack thereof. But remember, that's their journey, not yours. You stay on your path and it's time to continue to give to yourself, to continue to plant the seeds of ideas, nurture them, and um, don't spread yourself so thin. Uh, please give to yourself first and foremost to keep that health going. Uh, looks like you've made a lot of changes. Could be on the diet, um, the diet, the mental um, or, or movement, physical movement. So it looks like that commitment is starting to pay off. Don't lose sight. If somebody hands you their crisis to fix, you're not doing that anymore. You're just being neutral and, um, let, uh, all the chaos go around you while you maintain your balance, your focus and your grounding. But it looks like really embracing this change uh, for the beginning of this year has been extremely beneficial for you. And the heart chakra is lighting up for me here. So just giving to yourself, um, 
feels really comfortable and it feels like your self-love has gone up a lot um, and you're making yourself a priority. So good job, Scorpio. And more of the same, more of the same as we go into the next season. So what is the basis of all this is, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, um, this is the two of swords. So there's something that you're feeling very defensive about or some issue that someone is trying to hand you that really doesn't belong to you. But it also can mean is really not looking at a situation for, for what it truly is and just being defensive about it before you pull off this blindfold and take a look at what's going on. Um, so put down the swords for a minute, um, be open and willing to hear somebody else's side of a situation. It doesn't look like it's unresolvable. Sorry, my dog's being a little hyper. Sit down, Rebecca. Anyway, it doesn't look like it's unresolvable, but it does look like you need to really look at the, it honestly, instead of assuming it's one way because it doesn't feel like it's all that way. So really take a look at things. It'll help you resolve. Um, also, the next one that's here is also a sword. So looks like you may be having a little trouble sleeping or you're having dreams that are a bit disturbing. It's, um, there's too much on your mind. So sweet Scorpio, just pick one and resolve it and then move on to the next. But you've got too many things on your mind here. And it looks like it's standing in the way of you sleeping and having complete sleep that is rejuvenative. It looks like you're really busy on the astral and that you are kind of losing sleep right now. So be careful of your creature comfort. comfort. So sleeping, eating, you know, um, drinking water, all of these things may be affected by too much on your mind. So if you can minimize or simplify the things, uh, sort out the things that are really yours to solve and that uh, sort them out between what is yours and what is somebody else's, that will alleviate some of this. This is only a temporary situation. It is the nine, which means resolution is right on right on the horizon, right on the horizon. So just pick one thing that you can resolve, the things that are others to worry about, is it's not going to do any good. It's just going to rent space in your head. So, um, but it does look like you're having sleeping and possibly eating um, problems right now. Just too much in your head, too much in your head. So here is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, that is a fire sign. That is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this looks like that someone that has taken a big leap into their power. Um, and this may be your own child. This may be a family member, your mother, um, a friend, but is someone that is really looking at uh, making some changes over the last year. And they have, they have grown in instrumentally and incrementally, um, over the last year. And it looks like somebody that, um, is very close to your heart, uh, but they're taking a leap of faith and they're making those changes. Um, that it looks like someone that you have either mentored along the way, and I'm feeling a lot of pride around their changes for you, that it's, um, that they, you're really reveling in watching someone grow. And for, for some of you Scorpios, it can be a child of yours, um, a sister, something like that or a friend that was, it's kind of stuck in this place and they're finally taking a leap of faith into their power and um, a lot calmer <coughs> than they have been previously. The King of Wands here is upside down. This feels like a little bit of a challenge for you. This is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, most likely male, but it's someone that's kind of putting a wrench in a situation or has put a wrench in a situation, but, um, it feels like the ending of this challenge, <coughs> excuse me. It could be just a miscommunication with a boss, coworker, family member, but something is coming to an end. That's been kind of bothersome for you over the last couple of months. And it can feel, it feels like 
someone has been either taking advantage of you or has been um, mistaking your kindness for weakness and it feels like they're going to get a big dose of reality if it hasn't already happened. But some kind of miscommunication or some kind of disrespect is shifting into um, an awareness that they will now be respecting you kind of thing or they will stop their negative behavior in some kind. Some behavior or situation will be ending. <coughs> and for those of you Scorpios who are working through a relationship space and um, you will get clarity on whether to stay or to go. If this is a toxic relationship with this death card, it tells me either the toxicity will end or the relationship will end. Um, so be aware and be ready for it. That might be some of the reason you're not sleeping and not eating very well. So speak your truth with love and kindness. There is a shift coming um, and this King of Wands is upside down. So it feels like that shift will be in your favor and maybe not there so much. Um, so pay attention. What's on the other side is the nine. You've got quite a lot of the higher cards here. So you are right at the end. You have a nine here and nine here. Um, you are kind of right at the end of a situation that you've been working on to get clarity. Um, you've been working on either to, you know, move, get a new job build something, start, start something, start a business, something like that. You're going to get clarity on. And it's something you've been putting your energy in for a while. Um, it also looks like you've had to move past some fear to really enact or start to initiate some of this. And it looks like you're on the other side of that fear. This is a nine. It's nine of pentacles. It's also very similar to the Empress card. So it's starting something new, planting seeds, watching it grow, um, something for your benefit um, and something that you've always wanted to do. And for many of you, I'm feeling it might be even in the healing arts, whether it's um, starting a yoga class, starting a meditation class, or actually teaching that yoga class or meditation class, or creating a building for that, maybe your art, maybe your energy, but it's something that you've always wanted to do and it's coming closer. It's coming closer and closer and closer. So don't give up. Just keep powering through it. Release some of this energy um, from the toxic relationships that's not working for you and refocus that healing energy for yourself. And uh, it looks like you will reap the rewards, rewards of those benefits. So remember, the Wheel of Fortune is the main card here. So whatever you put your energy into, it will be rewarded. Hold the vision of positiveness so that Wheel of Fortune can switch to the positive and start giving you the benefits and the gains of all of your hard work over the last couple of months. So Scorpio, that is your reading for February. Let me throw a couple of these, oh, these chakra cards. All right, discovery and faith. Well, that kind of brings it all home, doesn't it? Discovering um, your new talents, um, pushing forward, and uh, giving wings to your new discoveries. These wings are kind of lighting up for me. Uh, pushing through those fears, starting to do the things that you've always wanted to do. If you've always wanted to go to, you know, Paris. Yeah, start saving for that. Put your needs, your desires, your wants, and your dreams ahead of other people's crises to, um, to resolve. Also, have faith in the journey. Have faith in yourself and your own strength. You're coming into um, a lot of your magic. And um, so be patient. The road, um, the road is long, my, my dear Scorpio. But with faith, it seems to shorten a bit. And we enjoy the road a little more along the way when we when we embrace our faith. And faith in yourself it doesn't necessarily mean God. It means faith in yourself, faith in the journey. Um, trust a little bit more that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. <laughs> 